All right, class, so today we're going to work on the 8.3, ready, set, go. Um, pretty easy homework assignment. It's just going to take some time. Sorry, so you can hardly are playing, and there's no stopping them. They need to, they need to get their energy out. So just ignore them. Um, so, all right, so we're going to, for the ready, we need to find the value of so that little notation is called function of x or f of x. So we say f of x. Basically, it's a fancy way of saying y. So like it, we say f of x when we're talking about a function because that's what we use to graph. And we use y when we talk about equations. So we want to write x and f of x as an ordered pair. The reason why we do that is because, again, f of x represents y. So technically, instead of x comma y, we're going to say x comma f of x. So like this number one is just y. So that's honestly all it is, is y. And then again, that's just x comma y. So like x comma y. So it's honestly just what you've been doing. So I want to plug in negative 2 into this equation. So that this is technically um, 3 parentheses negative 2 minus 2 and I'm going to do the math that's going to get me negative 6 minus 2 and negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8 so my answer is negative 8 here I'm going to plug it in type it in so I'm going to type it in as a point or write it in as a point negative 2 comma negative 8 and that's it that's honestly it that's all you're going to do so that's what you do for those so now they're playing with another toy sorry um so, I'll have you guys finish the rest of it. I'll move on to the next one. So, the next one is x squared. So, x squared is basically you're plugging in a number and you're raising it to the second power. So, this I plugged in negative 2 last time. Now, I'm going to plug in 1. So, I plug in negative 1. That is technically negative 1. You're going to have to do this on another sheet of paper, by the way, just to let you know. Negative 1 squared. Well, negative 1 squared is 1. So, this is just 1. So in here it's negative 1 comma 1. And that's it. Now, 3 is the one that's a little bit more difficult, especially since we haven't talked about this. So 3 is an exponent. So like I'm going to plug in two different ones here. I'm going to plug in 2, 0, and 1. So when I plug in 5 to the ne negative second power, this negative, if you don't remember the rules of exponents, is that you flip it. So instead of this, you're going to have 1 over 5 squared. And 1 over 5 squared is 1 over 25. If you plug it in your calculator, you're going to get like a decimal. But basically, I'm going to say it's 1 over 25. So and this is here, negative 2 comma 1 over 25. Do the same thing for the other one. Or 5 to the 0 power. 5 to the 0 power is just 1. So this is just 0, comma, 1. Next one's 5 to the 1 power. Well, 5 to the 1 power is just 5. So then this is 1, comma, 5. And this is the other two. Pretty straightforward. All right. So the set is kind of like how you're going to be tested on. So instead of, or actually, no, I take it back. So it, what you're going to be tested on is basically you're going to, you need to justify um, what's the most accurate. So you can prove that it's a rectangle, you can prove that it's a square, you can do all of that, but you gotta prove like the most accurate description. So that's what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna try to prove the most accurate description. Um, so, I can, I can prove that it's a rectangle because I know like the adjacent side. So what I would do is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find, I'm gonna find all the sides, I'm gonna find the lengths, and then you're gonna justify whether, uh, what shape it is. So let's do the first one. So I'm gonna try to find the sides of these. So I know this is four spaces up, one, two, three, four, five spaces to the right. Do the same thing here. Uh, this is five spaces, four, do the same thing here, 
That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five, four in every single one. So um, I know that if it's a square, I know that the slopes are going to be, well, if I look at it correctly, I'm going up four spaces, and then I'm going right five spaces, because that's a positive slope. So then m equals 4 over 5. m equals 4 over 5 over here, too, because it has the same direction. They're parallel. But if I look at these, I'm kind of going this direction. I'm going down five spaces and right four spaces, because remember, you're always moving to the right. So if you're always moving to the right, then technically you're going down here. So that 5 should be a negative 5. So my slope here should be negative 5 over 4. m equals negative 5 over 4. Well, remember, the rule for square is um, all sides are congruent. Well, if you do Pythagorean theorem, 4 squared plus 5 squared is equal to c squared, you're going to get an answer, and you're going to get the same answer for all of them since they're the same triangle. So c equals, I'm going to leave it blank because I'm going to have you guys figure it out, but it's going to be the same for all um, sides. So then that's going to be true. So it is a tr square. Rhombus, you need, you're going to need to prove that the diagonals are perpendicular. So you got to find the length of this side. So draw the line here. And then you got to draw this line here. Find the slopes of those lines. Are they opposite reciprocals? If they are, then yes. And then for right uh, for a rectangle, it's basically the same as a square, but you just got to prove um, opposite sides are parallel, and more specifically, adjacent sides are perpendicular. So you already did the math. You just got to uh, check to see if those are true. If they're true, then you're going to say yes or no. And then last one. So mainly, I'm just going to tell you, um, so you need to find the perimeter of each side. So perimeter is just you add up all the sides. If you add up all the sides, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I'm going to do number five because I'm going to be honest. That's the one I'm going to quiz you guys on. Number five. Your homework check is going to be on problem number five. So on problem number five, what you guys are going to do, is you need to find the length of these. But again, you can't count these spaces. They're all diagonal lines. So since I can't count those spaces, you're going to have to do what we did earlier. Find me the length of each side. Once you find the length of each side, then you're going to find, you're going to add those numbers up. So once you do that, so find the length. I'm going to do this in different colors. This is four spaces. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then the same respectively. So technically speaking, you only need to do these two triangles. And then you're just going to multiply it twice since it's, a, since it's a parallelogram. So I'm going to do 4 squared plus 7 squared is equal to C squared. And then 6 squared plus 2 squared is equal to C squared. Well, this is 16, this is 49, is equal to c squared, this is 36, this is 4, which is equal to c squared. All right, add those two numbers, you get um, 65 is equal to c squared, which if I remember correctly, you guys said, let me do, use my calculator, I think you guys said it was, um, I should get square root of 65, so c equals... I'm not, I think it was 6.1. No, 8.1. 8.1. So then this length here is 
and this is also 8.1. I'm going to write these actually in the middle. 8.1, 8.1. I get 40 right here is equal to c squared. Take the square root, both sides. c is equal to, um, c is equal to 6.4. So this is 6.4, this is 6.4. So in the perimeter is you just add all those numbers up. So 8.1 plus 8.1 plus 6.4 plus 6.4 is equal to 4 times 2 plus 16.2. You're going to get 29 exactly. And that is your answer. So this is the homework check that I'm going to give you guys. You have to do the same steps. Uh, don't just give, Don't just try to memorize the answer 29. I actually want to see all this work. If you do that, you'll get full credit. So I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow.